Praise God. Welcome to Music for Guitar Students, Level 1. The final piece at Level 1, number 13, called Sore Eyes. Sore Eyes. All right, that's because there's so many notes. My goodness, they just fly right by here. All right, so we're going to use our index and middle fingers, and we do a lot of rest strokes with some little bit longer runs. It kind of is a summary of all the pieces, all the notes, I should say, in the first position. We are using an F sharp. We have a little faster tempo, a leg roll. Alternate index and middle finger rest strokes. We have a middle section that's PIM arpeggios. And it goes through a longer section that kind of builds for a while. And then we return to the rest strokes and then we have ending with our thumb stroke. So I'll help guide through and explain as we go. So we start with a bass note, and on the second beat, our run starts. Now the run is index and middle fingers. So it goes across four strings. Then a bass note, then a G. Then more runs. So it's kind of like a two bar scale run. second finger in the note, and open A string, with a two bar run, and then back to like beginning. So you notice that the first three bars back three times there in that whole section. Now where we ended up, now we go to the middle section. We're going to hold our fingers down as we play these arpeggios. We switch to our P-I-M-I -I arpeggios and we hold them out. Lean a little bit more into the middle finger. is the second finger, I mean, I'm sorry, third finger, first and second finger. Open strings, a C chord, a D chord, and we have third finger on the C and the first finger up on the C up on the second string. So out of Ottawa's chords, if you, this one is easy to play, then we have this is a low G chord. Then we have an A here and a D in between. And the second finger, then op two open strings. And this one new chord we haven't had before, the second, third finger in the C, first finger on the E, second finger on the A. So that's the only chord where you're fingering three notes. Otherwise there's open strings. The C we've had before in many of the songs, the second and the first fingers, and this D that we've had in many songs, second and third, and the third finger, first finger, and this chord which we've had in many songs before. Now the idea is that you're building this up to a climax, so it starts soft in the bass strings. those fingered notes, that's the fourth time that it comes back, those exact same notes. Now we end up with a long scale that goes across all of our full range in the first position. So, 
I don't know what's in the first position. Two. Bass note with the thumb. Plant your three fingers down, index, middle, and ring. Back by the bridge. And do the slap stroke with the thumb across a rest stroke. And stop it right away. All right, so that piece is, summarizes some of the techniques that we've learned. I hope you've enjoyed the series of the um, Music for Guitar students at this first level. This level is about integrating the notes within the first position. So usually we are introduced to notes in the first position and we learn the notes, but we have to actually use them enough so that we can really know them well. And that's what these series of pieces is about. So from here, we go to something else at the second level, and then there's a third level. So I hope you look forward to those pieces that are coming up in Music for Guitar Students, level two and level three, once you have these worked up. Take care. Thanks. God bless.